No, in the next Jubilee, yes. According to, according to the Dead Sea Scroll calendar, the last 50 years is the last Jubilee for the age. And so that starts in 2025 and ends in 2075, if we have the, the calendar correct. And people look at me sometimes and say, are you trying to set a date? It's like, no, I'm just trying to set the calendar. <laughs> there are legends about the kingdom starting in the year 6000, and that may or may not be correct. Uh, and people would say that's a long ways off. If the Dead Sea Scroll calendar is wrong and the current Jewish calendar is right, the one that we've always went by until we discovered this, uh, the, the year 6000 is not for like, I think it's 220 years or something like that. So if that's correct, I mean, if the idea of Messiah coming in the year 6000, Messiah doesn't come back and for like 200 and some years. If the Dead Sea Scroll calendar is correct, He's coming back sometime in the next 50 years. So we've got, I think, 55 years, basically. And um, and again, you're talking about, even if that's correct, that's the second coming. Seven years prior to that's the seven-year tribulation. The rapture is just some time before that. So the rapture really could be any time. It could be today. I mean, there's just flat no way to put a, a date on the rapture. You could possibly put dates on other things. Um, and I wouldn't think the rapture would be hundreds of years before the second coming because Enoch says that it's one of the reasons for it is to engender repentance. And you can think about it today, for instance, there are people that deny the Holocaust ever occurred, for instance. Um, that would be absolutely impossible five years after the event or two or three years after the event. But now it's been 80 years there's enough time that people can say, oh, I don't know if that really happened or not. So if you think about that, 80 years after the rapture, there would be some people going, yeah, I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think it, that was it. And the point would be moot, I think. That's just my opinion. But, but yeah, for instance, if we go to, here's the Dead Sea Scroll calendar. Let me refresh it just to make sure we're not anything weird. So here's, uh, it starts at 2020. Or so in AD 2020 in March would be New Year's, and that's uh, 5945. So in the year 2025, yeah, there we go. That's 5950. So at that point starts the last Jubilee. So, and if we go to 2075, I think I can do that. I think I put that in here. Yeah, 2075 is the year 6000, according to this calendar. So hope that helps. So be aware of that, uh, the concept of the kingdom maybe starting in the year 6000, uh, but also be aware of the fact that this would be 2075, but the current Jewish calendar would have it, you know, 200 years from now. And we can always hope and pray that I've miscalculated, you know, maybe it's, you know, 40 years before. And it's, what's interesting is that's the official date. And so the, the age of grace should have started in 20 and just 75 AD, which was the end of the age and things did happen. So that's for sure. But the age of grace also, according to the scrolls and the like uh, Galatians and other places started when the, at the birth of the church, which is 32 AD, that's a 40 year gap, you know? And so it makes you wonder if the second coming tribulation, um, rapture or something like that couldn't be around 2032 instead of 2075 you know just because that's the official date and i mention this all the time that the whole idea about how you would mark the end of the last age jesus was born in 2 bc died in 32 a.d you know give or take a couple years but the point is then the church was born the same year and then you've got um the destruction of the Jerusalem temple in 70, that's a major event. The destruction or shutdown of the Alexandrian Jewish temple in 73, end of the age in 75 with the um, Council of Yavne. Then 130, you've got the uh, Bar Kokhba rebellion. And 132 or 135, the rebellion is crushed and Israel ceases to exist. And at that point, it really is the Gentile age, the church age, you know. So you've got all these things around a hundred year time period. 
And we've already seen stuff like that for around the end of the age. Israel came back in 1948, took back the Temple Mount in 67. Um, they've the I think it was 2004. The Sanhedrin was reconvened, so they have an official Sanhedrin. It's not it doesn't have any official power in Israel. It's not part of the government yet, anyway. But it exists. It's been reconstituted. Uh, practice sacrifices started what six years ago now i think it is they have a priesthood um you know everything's ready to go that kind of stuff and all the little things like we moved our embassy to jerusalem and you know all those things could be reversed of course but i mean it's just interesting that we're slowly drifting that direction or maybe not slowly but we're getting there it's been 70 almost 80 years uh since israel became a nation you know 48 but things are happening 